you know, I'm sure like generally you have to have cash flow to build up, uh, you know, to build up a large stake, like a war chest of cash to invest. Um, unless you're lucky enough to get given some, which I'm sure most people aren't. Uh, and that was, you know, that was the big hurdle for me. I was like, well, I've got no money to invest, but there's no, so there's no point in learning how to invest unless I've got money to invest. But then it's like a hen and it's like a chicken and the egg problem. You're like, which one comes first? And that's when it, it really dawned on me that cash flow, when you've got no money, cash flow is the, the most important thing in the world uh, because you have to, you have to keep yourself alive. You have to, and you have to stay in the game. And most importantly, I found you have to have uh, confidence. Like if you don't have a certain amount of cash in the bank, you start making lousy decisions and you're desperate and you, you know, you'll, you'll want to jump at a deal, which you, you usually wouldn't jump at if you, if you had enough cash to float you through, a, uh, through the year. And Warren Buffett talks about it a lot. Like, uh, he even calls it cash float and uh, Berkshire Hathaway always has at least uh, 36 billion in cash um, purely because he never wants to worry because when you worry, you make poor decisions. And so I, I realized this and I was like, okay, so you need cash to really be a good, a good businessman, but how do we get it? And I look, all the product businesses I looked at were, uh, they were, they were capital intensive. Like you had to spend money up front, like to build a software product, you had to spend money up front. And so when it came to developing snap inspect for me, like I had a great idea, the market validated it with me. They said this, this will work uh, and we'll pay for it. But I didn't have the thing to sell to them. And so I was kind of stuck here. I was like, well, this is a good investment, but I don't have the money to front it. So, I was forced to figure out a way to generate the cash to fund the investment and bring it all to life. And that's when I first turned to consulting and plain and simple. I, I knew that a lot of people out, a lot of businesses and a lot of people out there, they need help with different things. They have problems and a lot of problems people have aren't just product problems. Like there's not a product to solve everyone's problem. A lot of them are services and advice. And, you know, there's a whole market out there for people that just need advice. And that's just talking to someone and they give you money in exchange for it. And you can actually charge quite a lot of money for that. And I realized that the stuff I had in my brain, just from understanding a little bit about marketing and sales and stuff, it was, to me, it was worth nothing because that's just what I knew. Um, and everyone always undervalues what they know. But to other people, I had no idea that that was worth money. And so I started like talking to other people and asking them about what their problems were. And then if I could help them, I would say, okay, well, you know, I can help you with that. I, I've got experience with this thing. I know how to solve this problem. And, you know, would you be willing to, you know, have a, have an agreement together where I train you on this or consult you on this and you pay me in return. And I was able to get a few deals like that. None of them were huge. They were like $500, $1,000. Um, and just by selling those things, uh, I was able to get enough money to build snap inspect and actually get it off the ground. So, you know, it was through selling my advice that I got enough money to front an investment. And I think having a consulting arm really for any business is a great thing to have because if you need cash flow or if you need to get some liquidity at any point in time, you can, you can do that. 